It's fun to drive a car with an automatic transmission until you do anything incorrectly and harm the car so much that it can't be fixed. Even though automatics are very simple to drive, some people don't know about things that can damage their vehicles. Some people do this without realizing it, and then they ask themselves what went wrong when their cars break down a while later. If you drive an automatic car, don't do any of these bad things. If you're careful to avoid making these mistakes, you can prevent needless car repairs down the road. Let's take a look at how you can keep your automatic transmission vehicle operating cleanly for many years to come. Hello everyone and welcome to Lemon Law Assist. Lemon Law Assist is always here to help consumers with problems with their lemons. Our expert Lemon Law lawyers have taken on and won cases against some of the major automakers. We've worked on numerous cases, helped our customers get back millions of dollars, and have a significant success rate. So if you have trouble with your vehicle, you can get a free review of the case here or call us at 310-347-4915 right now. So let's get back to our video. Number 1. Not putting on the emergency brake You must always use the emergency brake if you leave the car uphill, downhill, or where your car could move if something moved. If you don't, you could hurt the parking prowl. People who know how to drive a car with a manual transmission know that they should use the emergency brake, whether parked on a hill or on a flat surface. Well, what about cars that have automatic transmission? Even now, it's a smart option because it keeps the parking pall from braking and needing to be fixed. Number 2. Leaving a car in gear when you've been sitting for a long time Do you rest in your vehicle while it's moving? If you are going to stay in your car for a long time, keep it in the park or turn it off. If you leave the vehicle in the drive, when you aren't driving it, it could heat up. Everything from the cylinder head to the gaskets can go wrong when an engine gets too hot. If the excess heat is terrible enough, it can create issues that won't go away. Number 3. Letting the car stay in neutral when trapped in traffic You apparently think it's ideal to leave your vehicle in neutral if you do not even assume you'll be driving for a long time. Like when you're in a traffic signal or stuck in traffic. Furthermore, this is a horrible idea. Although it wastes gas to leave your car in neutral, it's nicer for the vehicle in such scenarios. If you leave your car in neutral, it could hurt the transmission. When you leave your car in neutral, there are additional safety features, like when traffic starts to move faster, leaving your vehicle in neutral slows it down and makes it move less. Number 4. Driving downhill with your car in neutral You should never leave your vehicle in neutral when going downhill. As we already said, driving in neutral gives you less control over the pace and direction of the car. This is a very dangerous situation. So, what should you do when you're driving down a hill? Rather than neutral, use the two and one shifts to downshift manually. Learn to use the engine to slow down instead of relying on the brake pads. Every time, drive at a reasonable pace. There should be speed limit signs in your region to assist you in figuring out how fast you should go. Number 5. Taking water in the transmission If water gets into the transmission, it could cause severe damage that can't be fixed because it could stop the gears from shifting. If you think there might be water in your transmission, call your local AAMCO center right away to have your car checked. Number 6. Putting the vehicle in park while driving Remember that only some cars can do this, and you can put some cars in the park while driving. Even if you are crawling, you should never do this. If you do this, you could hurt the brake or the pin that locks it. Many folks make the mistake and don't even realize it. Like when they rapidly pull into a parking place in the parking lot, always come to a complete stop before placing the car in park. Number 7. Driving with both feet Are you a car owner who always has their left foot on the pedal and their right foot on the gas? Rather than drive with one foot for a manual car, you need to use both feet to drive. But you could put both feet on the pedals at once or even worse, place the incorrect foot on the false pedal. Keeping your foot on the brake pedal can also cause you to apply more force on the brake. This can hurt your fuel efficiency, waste gas, and cause harm to your brakes. Number 8. Not coming to a stop before changing from reverse to drive Are you the kind of driver who rapidly goes from reverse to drive? If you don't stop completely, this might hurt your vehicle. Based on the area you're driving, this can also be dangerous. This maneuver puts unnecessary stress on your transmission. Whether you're driving or going backward first, you should always brake before changing gears. But what if you're driving slowly? For instance, you're backing out of a parking spot and putting your car in drive. Even though you might not be in danger, you should stop completely before changing gears to protect the transmission. Number 9. Make sure your gas tank is low. But why? It's easy to see why. When gas prices go up, you can't afford to top your tank up. To ensure you have enough gas for the range you're driving, you may pay for fuel with loose change. But this is a huge mistake. Your gas meter doesn't always tell the truth. You could simply allow your car to stop in the middle of the street, 
Not only is this annoying, but it can also be dangerous. This can also hurt your car's catalytic converter over time. Always keep your tank more than a quarter filled and refill it when it gets to the quarter line. If you frequently do any of these things, try as hard as you can to avoid them. We all don't want to hurt our cars or make them less fast or good at what they do. Often German cars have automatic transmissions, so this video will assist you in staying away from the bad habits listed. So does your lemon car need to be fixed? Do you have trouble with the automatic transmission in your vehicle? If you live in the USA, we can help you with your lemons so that you don't have any problems. So contact Lemon Law Assist today or click the link in the description box to get a free review of your car. Well, that's it for today. Stay tuned for more such videos. See you next time.